What's goody with y'all, man? We in the building with YMDR Podcast, y'all. You feel me? We doing our thing, thing. Putting it in a little bit more of a different space. So y'all can see it. Obviously, um, I, I did it in my living room the first time. You know, just chilling, tapping in with it. But I wanted to make sure I did it this time in the in the in the the place to be, the spot to be. It's the it's the little bit like the recording room slash bedroom, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's 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 pretty lit in here when you get to kind of put the ambience and everything together. You know the 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 the, 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 the sign on the wall, the YMDR sign on the wall, you know, it's just a chilling space. So I feel like I can set the vibe in here, so much love to y'all to tapping into the YMDR podcast, man. It's so, y'all, in diving into the YMDR podcast, I thank y'all for tapping in, man. I thank y'all for tapping in and chop, chopping it up with us. Um, one of the things, y'all, I think I talked about on there was, um, if I'm not mistaken, I remember talking about um, something particularly when I was talking about stuff on that podcast. Um Episode one, like I said, I was just kind of running through just different things and kind of explaining my story and how I did kind of YMDR in the midst of that. And, um, you know, this one is more like, hey, y'all, we we address it more on the construct of, you know, how was I able to just, you know, continuously feel the need to do it in general, you know, when I had to deal with a lot of opposition because ultimately – you know, I, I can't lie to y'all and just sit here and tell y'all that there was no opposition in building YMDR. Homie, there was more opposition than I could possibly imagine. And a lot of it was just off the basis that, shoot, y'all, you know, there was just a lot of people who did not really know how to really take it as it was, you know, and see it for what it was. So, yeah, it was a lot of that. It was a lot of doubt, you know, it was different things. It was there's a lot of stuff, man, you know, so, I mean, there was a lot there with it, but at the same time, you know, I, the reason I can say that I still kept going and still kept doing it was because, you know, I believed in myself when other people didn't, you know what I'm saying, and that's one of the things that I think that people really take, you know, really don't be seeing from people, you know, or, you know, uh, tapping in with people with, you know, is when you believe in yourself, it's almost like nobody can tell you or make you think that there's something wrong with you because you chose to believe in yourself. Because you got to ask yourself, when they don't believe in you, like, that's mainly the reason why you start to say, I believe in myself. Like, I believe in who the hell I am and what I'm trying to do, whether I'm a, whether they don't get it or whether they don't see it. And, you know, I'm just going to continue to keep doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how I felt about it. And so I continuously just put that out there wherever I went. And, you know, even though my brand is about, you know, God and life and it's all reflected around that, you know, I already knew there was going to be different things that would come up and people would think different things and say different things about it or, oh, because you're a Christian, this, that, like, I already knew them things would come up, but I still just kept going in the midst of it because, shoot, y'all, I just took into consideration, like, you know, I don't care what nobody say, like, I'm just going to keep going at it. So, yeah, man, I mean, that's how it kind of got together in the midst of the opposition. Um, So, one topic of choice, y'all, that we're going to talk about today now, shoot, since we done got that out the way, we're going to talk about a topic of choice of the friend zone. That's right. We amping it up. The friend zone. That's what we talking about now, right now. And we're going to show a short video that will describe some things that have to do with the friend zone um, and just some people kind of saying some things about it. And um, I'm going to kind of, you know, obviously make sure that I'm looking at the video well and we're going to just tap into it and check it out mainly in the midst of the situation so he reminds me of like an old friend yeah <laughs> and like you, you, could, you could call him whenever you want like he's gonna answer and he's gonna help you out you just got friends on my five girls <laughs> like right away i built up the courage to add wait what the hell is this hmm? what is this it's 
a joke. <laughs> no, because two days ago, actually, Ian asked me to prom, and we're going together. So oh, like, shit. That just brought that up. Like, I was totally yeah. forgot to tell you that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yes. Why does the friend zone exist? For losers who are meant to be there. Hey, would you say he's in the friend zone? Yes, I do have a boyfriend. Oh, you do have a yes, boyfriend? Yes, not him. Are you two dating? <laughs> no, we're not dating. But we're just friends. Damn. If she for real did that to you, bro? I thought y'all were dating this whole time. Leo, are you talking no. to my girl? Yeah. Are you serious? Wait a bit. <laughs> are you serious? Are you yeah, serious? Yeah, we're just friends. So, okay, y'all, like, just from seeing this video and just the things that it's referring to as far as it goes, the 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 accolades of what these people are talking about in it and how they doing it, first and foremost, I just feel like, y'all, the friend zone, these motherfuckers who are friends with some of these girls, you know, that are really pretty and shit like that, and they acting like, you know, you just got friend zoned and all that shit, and they kind of like making fun of you in the midst of the situation. Um, brothers and sisters, I just feel like them type of women are not your fucking friends. Like they not. Like women like that do not seem like your friends. They're they seem like people who basically prey on your downfall. Like they know you basically somebody who being a sucker because you choosing to be in a friendship with them. And they not really being transparent to the reality of what you really trying to be. Like, ultimately, you know, when you a friend, you don't diss nobody to an extent of being negative to them in a way where when they, you know, oh, like when they, you know, when they talking about, oh, we friends and we just friends and stuff like that. And then, the, and then dudes coming in acting like, you know, Bro, I thought y'all was together. Like I didn't know that y'all was friends, you know, and it, and they ain't trying to make it like a like 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 a oh you a sore loser because you a friend and I'm getting you know, I'm smashing your friend, you know what I'm saying? Like but that's just weird, you know, like real people don't be doing that type of shit, you know? And the reason why I just say that it's it's weird or that it's just it's it's not genuine is because shoe y'all like being somebody's friend is not about disrespecting them. You don't disrespect people who are your friends. If they're your friends, you don't disrespect them like that just because they're not getting to be in a relationship with you. You feel me? Because some of y'all chicks, some of y'all walk around here with just so much pride. Y'all believe that, oh, I'm the shit. And because I'm the shit, like, none of these motherfuckers can touch me and 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 i got all the good shit and even though i'm being friend zone in this motherfucker like he not gonna ever get none of the good shit even though he friend even though he my friend you know like when y'all have that type of attitude like really that just make y'all look like some ugly motherfuckers like from the inside because y'all not really taking into consideration that truthfully speaking like people don't have to be your friend you know what i'm saying like nobody gotta be your friend and just because you cute, that don't mean that somebody going to be your friend because of that. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you really want to be like that and be negative in that contrast, you know, you should really reconsider what you call a friend because ultimately, you know, I ain't about to have no friend that's going to disrespect me while at the same time saying that we friends. You feel me? Like, that type of shit right there is just, that's, that's off limits on the construct of being friends with some of these fine ass women because ultimately, you know, some of them don't realize that that's just not how you go about shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know a lot of them, ultimately, man, like, I know how the world is. I know how the world is. Women have put themselves in a position of thinking that because they got OnlyFans, motherfuckers who fuck with them, and they got these type of people who fuck with them, like, they think that that's what gives them more um, credibility to just be wrong and disrespectful to other motherfuckers, you know, who really just trying to be real with them and genuine with them, you know. But genuine motherfuckers, that's the thing about it. Genuine motherfuckers don't got to be genuine to you. Ain't nobody got to be your friend. Ain't nobody got to be in your presence to be dealing with the bullshit that you causing to them, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, 
you know, your friend is ultimately supposed to be somebody who you can trust. They're supposed to be loyal. And they ain't supposed to be on no disrespectful ass shit, you know, trying to act like, oh, well, I don't really fuck with you like that. So don't go there with me, da da da, da when at the end of the day, you know, you only doing that to somebody who is really being genuine with you and you won't do it to a motherfucker who not being genuine with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that type of shit to me, like, I just feel like that's that's a waste of your energy. You feel me? That's a waste of your energy. That's a waste of your time. That's a waste of your concept. You feel me? Real people do not put themselves in a predicament to think that I need to be friends with somebody who just gonna sit there and be on some bullshit with me because real ass shit, again, you could take those motherfuckers, uh, any woman who done had to deal, or any man who done had to deal with a woman who done made it seem like they're weird as fuck, you know, because they, oh, they, they choosing to be friends with them and, you know, they, they being disrespectful to you. Bro, man, you should just cut them motherfucking women off because ain't nobody got to be their friend, dog. Ain't nobody got to be their friend, and especially if you being disrespectful to me. Disrespect does not include me as a friendship. You feel me? I used to have friends who sometimes they asked me for money and shit. You feel me? And they really wasn't asking me for money because they fucked with me. They was asking me for money just to ask me for money as if, they really was fucking with me, and they really was. You dig? And when I just feel like, hey, y'all, you know, you we got to watch our backs and watch our realities on what we choose to be involved with. Because some of these motherfuckers, like, if we being honest and transparent, I'm not trying to cuss so much in this, but I'm only doing it because that's disrespectful. You feel me? That's really disrespectful. Motherfuckers who really, you know, being genuine with you and shit, you know, using them and abusing them is some bullshit. You know, if you really want to be ultimately realistic about it and, and genuine about it, take genuine people for, you know, what they are. Genuine people. But just understand they don't have to be genuine to you if they feel like you disrespecting them. And that's just real ass shit. Any genuine person, don't stay around somebody like that. You feel me? If they choosing to be like that to you, don't stay around them. Because ultimately, man... They just making it hard for they self and they don't realize one day that's going to destroy them ultimately because they sitting back acting like they got to be, you know, oh, you're not going to ever get none of me and I'm not going to ever do nothing with you. We always going to be friends for the rest of our life. Da, 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 da. At the end of the day, it's the disrespect part. It's not the fact that you can't be a friend with a girl. It's the disrespect. I don't take no disrespect from no chick. I don't care how fine you is. I don't care how pretty you is. That don't mean I got to sit there and take your disrespect. Your disres hey, you got disrespect on me, I'm outie. That's just how that is. I'm outie, and I ain't coming the fuck back because you, should because you shouldn't have fucking did that. You took that like we was cool and shit, and you really didn't even know what the fuck you was doing. You really lost somebody because of that bullshit. And you thinking that shit cool. Nah, that's not cool. At the end of the day, y'all, we have to learn to be people who can say, you know what? Hey, I stay around this girl. I'll be your friend. But if I feel like she on some bullshit on the hood, I'm cutting her off. Because ultimately, she not worth my time. She not worth my energy. I don't need to like somebody like that. You know? Because ultimately, what am I liking? I'm liking somebody who look fine as shit, but at the same time, they own some bullshit when it comes to how they treat people. And that's really all I'm liking is somebody who don't know, don't even know how to really help their energy and be real with a motherfucker about what they what they are. You feel me? So, I mean, sure, y'all. Hey, that's just my thoughts on that. That's just what come to my mind about that whole situation because, hey, dog. You know, I find it very hard to believe and, and hear when it comes to that shit. You know, I got a friend my damn self that's a girl. And don't get me wrong, me and, me and her, we cool people. But guess what? She know not to cross the line with me where I feel like I'm disrespected and she and I know not to cross the line with her where I feel like I'm disrespecting her. You feel me? We got to respect for each other most definitely. So we don't do all that old hoe ass shit. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 the motherfuckers who think that they need to do that shit to believe that that shit cool. And 
Hey, real friends, real friends that are with girls, they don't do that shit. And don't get me wrong, some girls have problems with thinking that you just supposed to make a dude a friend all the fucking time. When in retrospect, what if this man has never even fucking had a woman tell him that he was loved beyond just a friend? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's men out there that's like that. They've never been told they've been loved more than a friend. They just been sitting around doing shit, not even knowing what the fuck to do with their life because all these women have said, oh, that's my friend, oh, that's my friend, oh, that's my friend, oh, that's my friend. Ain't nobody ever fucking told them that they was more than that. And y'all, I know that society is changing and shit like that and things are changing and everything is changing. But y'all, we got to learn to understand that some people are worthy of being more than just our friend. We really got to take those things into consideration because, you know, the only reason we expect our friends to be this way or we expect them to be that way or whatever the fuck the case may be is because we just, we don't want to step on no boundaries or nothing. Or then we don't want to think that we're overdoing some shit because we chose to let them be our friends. But brothers and sisters, at the end of the day, the only reason some motherfuckers are considered to be your friend and can be more than your friend is because if you being if we being honest and if we being transparent, back in the day, if you had a dude who was a friend, let's be real, what would usually happen? The reason they would usually link up and become more than a friend is because let's be real, he did some shit that made that motherfucker very valid to the girl you feel me the girl saw his valid validation from literally what he would do he did some shit that made that woman say hey i'm putting them in i'm putting them in the cut you feel me it wasn't about all that old whole ass shit that it is today where motherfuckers only fuck with you because of certain things that you do and how you do it it wasn't about all that damn weird ass shit about being toxic only and treating people this way only it wasn't about all that bullshit you know what i'm saying so y'all i just feel like for clarity reasons we should get back to these these ideas of not friend zoning people and thinking that shit that's all that they are because bro there's motherfuckers out here who could be your mother who could be dads there's motherfuckers out here who could be way more than that what we say that they are video game motherfuckers people watch fucking porn there's motherfuckers out here they could be way more than what the fuck we are letting them be and the only reason we are sitting there and saying that they're our friends y'all our friends is because we are afraid to put them on that spot and see them kill it so that they ain't so that we ain't got to talk about them no more you feel me? Because that's what some of these fucking women live off, live off of. They live off of talking shit about guys being on some bullshit and being all this and being all that. And then when he's not that, then they can't say shit to him and it just feels a little weird. But it's good in general because, hey, at least you ain't got a motherfucker causing you problems all the fucking time. To have somebody around who you just talk shit about all the time, like that's a waste of your time. That's like a girl, that's like a girlfriend that you had that the motherfucker, you know, you got a girlfriend and she only like you because you got money. She don't like you and for any other fucking reason, she like you because you got money. And you got to ask yourself, if, if shit hit the fan down the road and you didn't have that shit no more, why the fuck would she really be fucking with you? Like, would she really tap in and be cool with you like that? You know, when you really think about them type of things, like, hey, y'all, you know, you go somewhere, you realize some shit. You're like, man, I, shit, even if I didn't have the fact that that girl liked me for money, I still don't, I still shouldn't be encouraging that that's the shit that I need to deal with. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, y'all got to get back to the, to the reality of certain shit. Some motherfuckers are not just what we call them to be. They're not just motherfucking friends some of these motherfuckers could be dads if they was chosen to be such you feel me 
some of these people they could be this if they were chosen to be such. It's like me, in general. It, you know, I use myself as an example. Like, if a woman chose me, side note, I would know how to be a man. It ain't because I don't know how to be a man that I'm that I'm that I'm not sleeping around and being with multiple women. I just know and I realize and understand that a real motherfucker is not going to sit there and just be a man if a woman like don't even know how to really take and take advantage and choose that motherfucker. You feel me? I've always been counted out because of the fact that I had a certain mindset about shit because I was a good dude and I treated women nicely and all that other shit. But the problem that I looked at mainly was that women just didn't know how to take that. You know what I'm saying? They didn't know how to take that. They didn't know how to let it be what it was. And they didn't know how to encourage it. So I was always either considered to be a friend or somebody who was obsolete, wasn't considered to be anything more than that. Especially when I was in high school, I was considered to be an ugly motherfucker to some people. And the way I look at it now is entirely different. I have a lot of self-confidence in myself. I'm able to talk to women about shit. I'm able to help some of these fucking women, even though I am their fucking friend. You know what I mean? Like, I'm able to help some of them. But I know in the midst of the situation, here's what I look at the most. If I'm willing to help you, if I got certain things in my heart and my mind that actually helps you as a person and you disregarding that just because you calling me a friend and shit like that you got to take that type of shit into consideration maybe the reason i'm only giving you half of myself or i'm only giving you a little bit of this shit of what i am is because i don't like the fact that you feel like that's the only thing i am as a person so i'm only giving you a little bit of it because ultimately the way i see it and the way i perceive it is until you give me a reason to fucking be more than that, then that's the only way I'm going to truly be able to, to, to really tap in with you. You know what I'm saying? I don't, at the end of the day, y'all, I'm, I, you know, I don't mean to say this. I don't, I don't really tap in with women who feel the need to think that I'm just supposed to give them all of me and they, they get to take, something from that that's not even really genuine you know on their side i don't do that shit you know i feel like at the end of the day you know you want something from me hey make it make sense you feel me don't just have me as your friend and then you know don't even make the situation make sense to what it's supposed to be because that's some bullshit you feel me at the end of the day you know that's some bullshit because I, I had a lot of them things happen once before where motherfucking girls be like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm your friend, but I want to be more than that. And then I wait around and they, they be more than that. And then guess what? I had to deal with a motherfucker basically want somebody more older than me. Lying to me about, oh, well, we I wanted you, but I technically wanted somebody who was older than you. You know, like I had to deal with shit like that before, you know, but at the end of the day, what I tell y'all about it is this. I've learned to just strictly be a man who is sober and vigilant, and I have learned to just validate my fucking self, even if chicks don't validate me. Because the way I see it at the end of the day now is I'm older, I'm growner. When I was a child, I did the same shit. When I was a child, that was how I was too. I validated myself to some extent. Don't get me wrong. I was I was in development. You feel I was in development, so I didn't know all the shit. But at the end of the day, I stayed true to who the fuck I was, ultimately. You feel me? So I mean nowadays that's that's really what I be on when it comes to this shit. You know, I don't I don't worry about these women who don't really know how to be friends to men. And I'm not worried about these fucking feminists, if we being realistically honest. I'm not worried about them either. Because they don't know how to really see and take into consideration. You only a feminist off of negative ass motherfuckers. You're not a feminist off of motherfuckers who help you become better. Because there's some men out here, they know how to help you become better. But because you don't want those fucking men, you don't know how to see the better. You want better, but you keep dogging shit out on men that are technically better. You keep not choosing better. You feel me? 
Like, make it make sense. Make that shit make sense. Like, you really, you dogging yourself. You dogging yourself, you're going to dog yourself for the rest of your life because you're going to make that motherfucker die alone. And your ass going to die from being miserable, from fucking assholes who treated you like shit. Let's, let's be real about the shit. Let's cut the shit as it is. That's really what the fuck we doing to each other. If you don't choose me as a nice man, guess what? You're going to keep getting your ass whooped by motherfuckers who toxic as shit. You're going to keep dealing with the bullshit of misery from motherfuckers. I'm going to be alone and die alone. Your ass going to be keep getting misery, keep getting misery and f- bullshit from motherfuckers. And you might eventually die alone because you're going to ultimately say, oh, I don't want to be with nobody. So you'll cut yourself off and be a motherfucker dying alone your damn self. And then for what? That's that. Then for what? You know what I'm saying? Like, the world is cold. You shouldn't even let the world so fucked up nowadays. You know, they, they want y'all to be like that. They want every last one of us, y'all, to just die alone on both ends so that we're not dying together. You feel me? They want y'all to die alone instead of dying together because they feel like if y'all die together, y'all ain't y'all ain't going to really perceive or get to what y'all y'all want to get to and they don't want y'all to really they don't want y'all to really win in how y'all living together and fighting together and being real together they just want y'all to split yourselves apart and destroy each other individually that's ultimately what it is y'all when we think about this shit about motherfuckers and friend zones and all this other different shit Motherfuckers just want people to die by themselves, not even realizing that some of these motherfuckers, they have a reason to live, and it's way deeper than just being somebody's friend. It's way deeper than doing this. It's way deeper than doing that. Hell, that's why I got my damn brand right now, because I looked at it like this. If women didn't fuck with me, I at least fucked it with myself, and at least I had my own brand to back that shit, because I at least said that God... I got a purpose to be on this earth even if these women don't fuck with me. Even if I never get a recognition from some of these motherfuckers because at the end of the day, I was real enough to say, you know what? I validate myself when this weird-ass world don't validate me. When women don't validate me. When people don't validate me. When I don't worry about none of that bullshit because at the end of the day, the only reason they don't validate me is because they don't see that they really need my ass eventually. That's just how that is. They really need my ass eventually. They really need me because ultimately, if they didn't, why the fuck, why the fuck they, why the fuck they still tap in with me some of? Because ultimately, you need motherfuckers that you say you don't need. You say you need. Oh, I. I don't need a good man. I don't need a good man. Yes, the fuck you do. You do. You're not going to choose them right away because your brain is in the fog. You think you don't need them. You're telling yourself you think you don't need them, but you really do. No, you really do need them. You do. Stop lying. You know what I'm saying? Some of these women, they really got to understand. Stop lying to yourself. Saying you don't need no good man. Oh, I, I need a good man. I need a good man. Okay, if you need one, stop lying to yourself. You feel me? Stop lying to yourself. If you need one, you need one. Don't lie to yourself. You keep lying to yourself, you're going to end up like these motherfuckers who don't even really know what the fuck they even existing for. Because they can't make up their mind. It's like they're in a store, and they can't even fucking choose what the fuck they want in the store. They don't know where to choose. They don't know where to start. They go to the bread aisle, and they don't even get to the bread. They go here, they go there, they go there. They don't know what the fuck to get out the store, so they walk out. You feel me? Just saying, it's similar to that. Thank y'all so much for tapping into the YMDR podcast. Y'all, I'm just telling y'all, thank y'all so much for tapping in, y'all. We're just trying to get some things out here. We're just trying to make a podcast that has some visual stuff going on. This is a visual YMDR podcast. 
because I know that some of the podcasts I was making, it was on them little things and stuff. And I know most people, hell, some people, it just depends on the situation. Some of them like to hear it through a little thing and, you know, streaming platforms and all that shit. And then some people like to hear it on YouTube or whatever that's all the case may be. But, y'all, I appreciate y'all for tapping in with it. I hope that y'all just like, share, comment on the YouTube page. Tap in with the YMBR movement, y'all. Because, hey, y'all, we just trying to do something great for the people, man. Ultimately, YMBR is just a brand about, you know, elevation. Elevation. God and life. And ultimately, I'm just trying to help people get back to that. You know, there's a, it's a problem in the world today right now. People don't know what the hell they really are putting themselves on. And I want y'all to put yourselves on something great. So much love to y'all. Thank y'all for tapping in with the YMBR podcast. Until next episode.